Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living or a time worth having. Well, the first thing you have to do, of course, is produce a living. And when you produce a living, you have to assess your skill sets, determine where you're headed, and decide if your career is on track with where you're supposed to be well vetted. And what I mean by that is the people go through different career options. They take their skill sets from one company to another, another organization to another non-for-profit, and they literally can play typical skill sets in a lot of different places. The challenge may be that the industry changes, and the industry may change because society actually changes. The world changes, and opportunities open, opportunities close, and people just don't get that is sort of true and sort of untrue. It's like people get the common sense of that, but they don't get the application of it. And when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about the reality that you can play for the highest job in your life as long as you can bring it, as long as you can really show what you're capable of doing enough to a person who's going to say, okay, I'll give you that chance. I'll give you that opportunity. Let's see how it goes. And sometimes it works out marvelously and other times it doesn't, but that's our right. Our right is to try and make the greatest lump of sum of money we can in the right kind of job for us as long as we can before somebody actually fucks us out of that job. No offense to the people in the audience, but I'm talking about real life. And if in real life you only work for want to work for a $10 job, that's up to you. If you can only apply yourself and your skills up to a $20 an hour job, that's on you. But if I'm going to work for a $350 an hour job or a $400 an hour job or a $500 an hour job, or like one of the guys in my marketing industry who literally makes $25,000 for 15 minutes, I'd like to live his life, wouldn't you? I mean, heck, that's an entire vehicle practically, isn't it? What we're talking about is an understanding of the income in the world and how to produce for us what we call cash flow quadrants, and that is not my term. That belongs to Kiyosaki, and you can read Robert C. Kiyosaki and learn all you want to learn about how the world turns. But in my life, I'm a reader. I'm an avid reader. I'm an educator. I'm a definitely a person who's a lifelong learner, and I don't play around in life. If I've made my decision that I'm going to go after something, I go after it. And that might mean it took five years to get somebody to pay attention. It also might mean that it takes me 10 years to win somebody that I love. But at the same time, it also might mean that I'm smart enough to have planned in advance how stupid you might be about technology, about government, about how administration works, about how satellites in the sky can see every little fucking thing you do on your cell phone. And if you came here as a person from another nation, you are literally being reviewed on your phone at all times because we don't have to have you here. You're here as a guest in our country. You're here as a visitor, you're here as a student, you're here on some sort of special scholarship or some sort of what we call creative arts capability, something that's unique. And openly, I know some of those artists. I know a woman who makes $10,000 a painting. Isn't that marvelous? But you don't get to sell those every day. So let's be real about life, that sometimes we have to have a job to get a job, and sometimes if we take a job, it can ruin us getting a job. So let's be real. In life, we have moments of time to look for what we want in life. And when we look for what we want in life, we have to look at how we want to manage our time. And I don't want to live in 40 to 60, 80 hours a week like I did when I was in my 20s. I just don't have the energy for it. I literally take naps every afternoon in between my working on my computer, working on my business profession, working on my job opportunities, working on the things that people are saying, hey, try this for me. Show me what you can do. Show me your portfolio and all that and whatnot to do. And openly, I take a nap and then I get up again and I continue working. And then I might go get some food and then I'll continue working. That's my life. My life is not required to be in some job at someone else's time and someone else's lifetime, someone else's, well, management of time. And openly, a lot of companies don't manage their employees well. They don't give them a consistent schedule, which is a major mistake. They don't allow them the right to plan their life around that time. And most people are a lot more content if they know when they're going to work regularly. And most people say, look, I'm totally fine with working these hours. Just give it to me. And if you do that, then people feel marvelous. But what I'm talking about is real life. And I'm not going to play for a $10 an hour job because it's not going to pay for an apartment. It's not going to pay for a new car. It's not going to pay for food on the table. It's just not. I have to play for the highest job I can get in the land. And if that means it's going to take me to Washington or take me to California or take me to Wyoming or take me to Minnesota, I'm going to do that. But I have a, an adventurous spirit. And I traveled for the longest time when I was allegedly homeless. I wasn't homeless. I was traveling. I was choosing not to invest in any place to live because I hadn't plowed my roots down in a place I wanted to live. I was looking at a lot of cities. I was looking at a lot of towns. I was looking at a lot of people. I was looking at a lot of opportunities, and I was trying to find the right place. God led me to this place, and it's turned out to be a disastrous place. I've been here for about a year, and openly and frankly, thankfully, my work, my entrepreneurial work is getting me out of here. And it's helping me get to the next position that I really want in life, which is political consulting, which is marketing people, which is marketing programs, which is marketing products, which is marketing politics. Thanks for listening.